Hey guys, I'm Timothy Michael and welcome back to Epic Pride where I give you the tea in entertainment, political, international, and cultural LGBTQ plus news. But first, a word from our sponsor, Hypothermia Cancer Institute, the best cancer treatment you've never heard of. Click for more info. Two men have been charged with robbery against three transgender women on the evening of August 17th in Hollywood. Carlton Calloway and Davian Williams will face charges including robbery and assault in connection with the attack on Hollywood Boulevard, according to a news release issued by the LA County District Attorney's Office. Transgender Instagram influencer Eden the Doll, Jasleen White Rose, and Jocelyn Flawless were attacked while on the walk of on the Walk of Fame around 2 a.m. The women were verbally and then physically assaulted, which was captured on video and streamed live as it was happening. Calloway allegedly befriended the three victims and later assaulted them, while Williams allegedly joined the attack and stole from one of the women. Calloway was arrested in mid-August by police in Bakersfield, but was later released a few days later. Then prosecutors referred the case back for further investigation under the pressure of the LGBTQ plus community and activists. The district attorney's office said arraignment would take place at a later date. If convicted as charged, Calloway faces up to 13 years and four months in prison, and Williams faces up to eight years and four months in prison, according to the district attorney's office. Now, having personally been attacked by my attackers and my attackers never being caught, I hope justice will be served in this case and the two men will end up behind bars. On Thursday, August 20th, Xavier Michael Davenport, better known as by the stage name Chichi Devane, an American drag queen and reality television personality who came to international attention on the eighth season of RuPaul's Drag Race and the third season of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, died at the age of 34. Celebrity and drag superstar RuPaul wrote on Twitter, I am so grateful that we got to experience her kind and beautiful soul. She will be dearly missed, but never forgotten. May her generous and loving spirit shine down on us all. Devane was a popular figure on RuPaul's Drag Race due to her humble nature, which, was, which she tied to growing up in Shreveport, Louisiana, and impressive dance skills and lip syncing skills. She was one of my personal favorites, her lip syncing performance of And I Am Telling You left my jaw dropped and proved that she was one of the most talented drag queens to grace the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race and my heart goes out to her family and friends. On a happier note, the LGBTQ Central Los Angeles has opened up a queer-focused coffee shop called Liberation. The 1,600-square-foot cafe and community space is operated and staffed by graduates from the center's International Cultural Arts Program, which is a three-month training, training program launched in 2019. If you are a sucker for pastries and a great iced coffee like I am, then you should head to Liberation Coffee House. Not only do they have mouth-watering pastries, but they also have a breakfast pizza, Thai chicken salad, breakfast burritos, and parfaits, which are all prepared daily. Is your mouth watering? Because mine is. Unfortunately, due to state and city's COVID-19 regulations, indoor dining service and indoor gatherings are not permitted at this time, but you can definitely go for takeout. That's my recap of what's happening in the LGBTQ community. I'm Timothy Michael, and remember, be loud, be proud, be you, be epic. See you guys next time.